So I have a packet of 16 cards here and I'll lay them out for you to look at. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to test the validity of something called the Law of Attraction. Now the Law of Attraction is a claim that positive thoughts attract positive outcomes. Negative thoughts attract negative outcomes. And so we're going to put that to the test today. Um, so let me just explain to you the test that we'll use and the procedure we'll go through to scientifically test the validity of that law. Okay, so the uh, two steps that we'll perform in the case of the positive and negative thinking test will be the following. We will simply perform what's called a Klondike shuffle. This is where you take the top and bottom cards off as one. And then we'll perform something called an LR shuffle. L is for left, R is for right. So this is just a left-right shuffle. Now to have you participate in this test, I'll have you tell me how you would like these stacked. Do you want the left on top of the right or the right on top of the left? You want right on left? Okay, very good. Now, the goal of this little exercise together today is we're going to have you uh, concentrate on something a negative first. We'll, we'll see how you do when, when negative thoughts pervade your mind. And the way that we'll detect whether those thoughts are influencing kind of the world around you is we will count up the number of matching color pairs as we create pairs of cards on the table, okay? So we'll take it as evidence that if you are able to match up a lot of these pairs, then perhaps your positive thinking is actually influencing the process. And if you fail miserably, in matching up color pairs, then perhaps your negative thoughts had played some part in that, okay? So th those are the parameters of our test today, okay? So what I need you to do is uh, focus on something negative, something that um, is quite disappointing or something that uh, just makes you feel down. And I'll give you a minute to do that and I'll do the same. I thought we would combine our mental energies together and see if we can actually verify whether or not this law is actually valid. Okay, so think about something negative for just a moment. Okay, I have a negative thought in mind. Kind of a depressing one actually. Okay, so let's see if um, our negative energy together is um, going to affect the outcome of the test here. So if you remember, the procedural steps for the test will always be the same. Uh, we will Klondike pairs of cards to the table. Okay, there we go. And then we'll perform this left-right uh, dealing of the cards. Okay. okay. Hold on to that negative thought. Really focus on it. I, I have mine in mind and I'm not going to let it go until this test is completed. Okay. So with our negative energy, let's see how many of these color pairs we're able to match. Okay, th so that would be a fail. Okay, no, no match there in color. Uh, no match. <laughs> oh boy, no match. Remember, see there's eight, eight pairs here. <laughs> no match again. No, no, don't laugh because that's a positive thing. So hang on to your negative, negative thought and I'll do my best to do the same. <laughs> Another fail. Oh boy. Are we going to, are we going to get any of these? To, nope. That is a 100% failure. Okay. So uh, I, I don't know if that's sufficient proof there that uh, perhaps our thoughts influence the process. Uh, but let's go ahead and let, let's just try that again. I, I really kind of hope that, you know, we can get, at least get some of these to match up. Um, I, I personally would like to disprove this law. I, I'm not sure if I actually believe it here. So uh, focus on that negative thought again. Let's see if we can get any of these to match. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Oh, I'm getting negative just by uh, being frustrated here. I guess that's guaranteeing that we'll never match these ridiculous cards. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I think the problem is we're just not mixing the cards well enough. Because surely if we mix the cards well enough, uh, the universe is going to give us a break here. How, how should I stack it left to right? Okay. Okay, very good. Should we even do like, let's do eight. Oh man, let's just really mix these cards. Okay, and so let's just, uh, why don't you decide what we'll kind of stack these on top of those or the bottom on top of the top of top ones you want top on bottom okay we'll do that okay and then how would you like these stacked we could even do something called a leapfrog you kind of like hop over you you like that idea okay we'll hop over here a uh, left on right or right on left Okay, surely now we will get some matching pair. Now hang on to your negative energy there. Okay, don't get all happy about thinking about leapfrogs or something. Hang on to that negative thought. Okay, we're going to get at least one to... Oh boy. It's funny how uh, negative emotions feed on themselves and positive emotions feed on themselves. And so I can just feel my frustration growing as we fail this test, which is probably just guarantee guaranteeing that we will not ever sex aid. You've got to be kidding me. None of these are matching. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I think that's some... Pretty good evidence there that something's going on, at least in the case of negative energy. So we, we perhaps have kind of verified that negative energy can have a negative impact. Now, what about positive thinking? You know, because that's what most people want. They, they, don't want <laughs> they don't want bad things to happen in their lives. So what about if we have like positive thoughts and we, we kind of look at the world through rose-tinted glasses and just see the world the way that we would like it. So what I need you to do now, and I'll do it too, is um, concentrate on something um, or a number of things that you would view as very, very positive. Things that would just make your day or make your life even. <laughs> um, and things that would just really, really brighten your outlook for the future. And I'll do the same. I'll try to think of something or a few things. Okay, okay, so have, have you collected some really strong, compelling, positive thoughts? Kind of hopes for the future? Okay, I think I have too. So let's go ahead and perform our actions uh, for this test. The actions are always the same. Um, so we perform a Klondike shuffle. And, and throughout all of this, it's important. Hang on to that positive thought. And I'm doing the same here. Okay, and then what was the other action to make this test efficacious? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the left-right. We have to do a left-right dealing of the cards. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's see if our positive thoughts and kind of positive attitude about life and the universe around us. Let's see if it's influenced or in any way affected our success rate here. So the hope is that we can get, I, don't know, I guess, at least half of these to match in color. So let's see how we did. How, how did we do? Oh, we got one. Finally. Well, I, I guess that's evidence that maybe there is something to positive thinking. Yes, we got two. Two out of eight. Oh boy, three, four, <laughs> five. Man, I'd love to know what your positive thought was. It must have been pretty darn potent. Oh yes, six, seven. I would think by elimination, we nailed it. We went from a 0% matching rate to a one hundred percent matching rate. Now, if you think about the steps of the tests, the only thing that was different, 
the only element or factor that changed was our thinking. Our negative thoughts resulted in no matches whatsoever. And our positive thinking and positive thoughts resulted in a perfect color matching of these cards. Boy, oh boy, I think there really might be something to this principle called the Law of Attraction. Okay, so that is a, a little demonstration. Now, we could actually perform this over and over again. It, it resets. So you perform that again. And um, what I'll be showing you in just a minute is there's far more you can do than what I've done here. I've done the bare the bare bones <laughs> for uh, card um, shuffling and that kind of thing. Uh, I just wanted to show you kind of the essence of what's going on. Okay, so what is going on here? <laughs> 